In this video, we're going to highlight uh, several new tendon modeling improvements that have been made and will be released for Builder 2018.1. And the purpose of these improvements is to make modeling of tendons more flexible for the user, being able to model linear or straight tendons versus spline tendons, um, and also making it more, more efficient to make modifications or changes to those types of tendons. And, and then the third reason would be to stabilize um, to stabilize the performance of tendon modeling inside a builder. So we're going to go ahead and do a small demo here on these improvements. We're using uh, Floor Pro, and we have this open in PT mode in US units. We'll select OK. So to start this process, we'll go up to Model, and I'll just model a 2 by 3 bay um, slab, just a flat, flat plate. We'll do a 32 bay um, spacing in the in the two span direction, and we'll do 28 in the other span, and we'll just leave the other default as they are. There's going to be some tendons added, distributed and banded. We'll go ahead and um, say OK. We have our model in place now. I'll I'll rotate this to a to a 3D view just so we can see that there's loading there. I'll turn off the loading from the loading tab. I'll turn that off. And um, first thing to note is that all of the tendons by default are straight tendons. So if I was to, for example, take a tendon here and move this tendon in the control point, you'll notice this is what we call a linearized or straight um, tendon uh, type. And um, you'll, you'll also note that the color of the control points, there's three control points here, there's one here, there's two and then three over here, and then also the anchors or control points. Those are the same color as the tendon that we've modeled. If we double click on a tendon, we've made some changes to the uh, general tab. So the tendon shape mode is either straight line or spline. If I change this to spline, this enables the first and last anchor ends. So here you can still set the angle for the anchor. You can um, set the settings for the auto swerve points. And you'll notice that now the control points are green by default. So they're a different color when we make it a swerve tendon. And now if I change this and move this control point over to here, for example, we have our spline tendon with the in-plane curvature shown. If we go over to the side, and you'll, you'll see that this tendon still shows that there's an anchorage to the slab edge. However, we've removed the, um, the sticky tendon, uh, the notion of having a sticky tendon to the slab edge. And that's um, one reason for that is to improve that, and we're going to release that in phase two, which will be version 2019. We can still anchor the tendon relative to its um, rotation or its, its angle set in the properties, but instead of anchoring this, Instead of the tendon sticking to the slab edge, we just simply trim and extend the tendon. So if I select the tendon, for example, I can use uh, this option here for trim extend, and that pushes the tendon out. And that trim extend setting is under the tendon settings. We've removed some of the settings at the top that were associated with um, tendon anchors and locking tendons and spline mode. We've condensed it down to this, and new settings have been enabled in the tendon editor. So here the first setting is trim and extend. That We have a tolerance setting. If I push this out, for example, to, uh, let me go ahead and close that and I'll move the slab further out. And I'll change this to, let's say, six feet. And now if I select a group of tendons, those all trim and extend. So this is a way to, to rapidly modify tendons and their anchorage to a slab using this option for trim extend versus um, the option here, which is more um, one by one uh, type of approach for trim and extending tendons. Okay, we'll go ahead and close that just for a moment. Um, you'll also note that we can still add swerve points. We still have, for example, an auto swerve point here. If I move that auto swerve point, the tendon shape will be updated on the back side and the front side of the swerve point. I can click on the tendon, right click, I can insert points, control points. If I wanted to insert a control point, the program would add a couple of control points here. There's one and two. If I add one to a 
uh, straight or linear tendon, the program will add that shown here. So it, it highlights again the same color as the tendon. That's a way to easily differentiate between, between the two. You can also add swerve points. So I can insert a swerve point, for example, there and there, which allow me to control the in-plane curvature of the, of the tendon. Going back to the tendon editor, the second tab here is CG. So um, in the previous versions and even into version 2017, this was included. It's just been reorganized in this new layout where we added trim extend. So if I wanted to change the CGs for all of these tendon spans here to two, I would select two. And then I can either window select or select uh, one by one for more, for more control over individual tendons. We can do the same for strands. Um, here I'll change strands from two to, let's say, four. I'll come over to this edge and just select those tendons. Those update to four. We can change the mode of tendons. So right now it's set to spline. If I wanted to change these tendons here all to have in-plane curvature for some reason, maybe we want to wrap them around an opening. So we change them to spline. And then what I'll do is go over to model. Let's assume we have an opening that's been added uh, to a specific location. So we'll add an opening maybe here. Okay, and now we can go in, we can add in uh, uh, swerve points. And I would just move this tendon like so. We might want to add swerve points here to this tendon. And you'll notice if we try to do this for multiple tenons, it only works on one tenon, the right-click option. Um, we could also go to uh, the option for tendon, and you can add a swerve point using this, this option here. Okay, so we select a tendon, add swerve point, or insert, or insert swerve point. And this is another way to handle that. So again, we can just wrap these tendons up around that, that opening. Something like that. So that might be a reason to change a group of tendons to swerve versus uh, linear. Okay, so that's under mode in the dynamic tendon editor. And then finally under spline anchor, we can modify the anchorage to the end edge of the slab using um, this feature here. If I wanted to change, for example, a group to 60, just select those. And those now get anchored to that slab edge at that particular angle. We can also um, change the auto swerve point location as a percentage or a length. If I change this to length and I say I want to add that to 20 feet, you could, again, click on tenons and it will add a swerve point at that particular uh, distance. If you have any questions about these improvements and changes within the program, please contact us at support at adaptsoft.com. Thank you.